two very unusual things that you might not typically use when making a dessert. One is a vegetable. <gasps> a vegetable in my dessert? A zucchini. Oh! <laughs> then, <laughs> a blender! We're making zucchini blender brownies today. I know, it might sound a little scary, but the zucchini, you can't really taste it. And we're shredding about two cups of it, putting it in the brownies. So you're getting a lot of vitamins in the skin of the zucchini and a vegetable hidden in there. In a, a brownie. It. In a brownie. In a brownie! In a brownie! <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's get started. I'm so excited! <laughs> Starting off these bad boys, we are going to use two eggs. Yes. Typically when you're making a recipe, you don't want to put the eggs first. You want to put like butter or, well, we don't really use butter, so oil or anything like that. But since we're putting it in a blender, you want to put the liquids on the bottom so they don't stick to the top. Because that's happened too many times. Yes. And wash your hands. <laughs> yes, very important. Let's do that. What are we, Rocky? <laughs> All right. Next we're going to put two cups of shredded zucchini. Here's a zucchini if you've never seen it. Do not get it mistaken with a cucumber. I've done they that look far too many same. times. <laughs> they do look way too small. And two cups is about one whole like medium sized zucchini. Medium to large, yeah. depending on how fat it is. Next, what we're going to put in is three quarters of a cup of coconut sugar. Mmm. Yeah. I love coconut sugar. Mm -hmm. One. <laughs> two. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got nothing. Uh -oh. Sweet! Yay! <laughs> this masterpiece. Beautiful. And what are those things called, like the where you stack the sand? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, like you put them yeah. in the glass frames. <gasps> That's what this looks That's like. That's what it kind of looks like. How sweet. We're so creative. Except we're going to destroy it. Rah! Coming up next, one quarter of a cup of applesauce. <sighs> this keeps it mm -hmm. moist. moist. <laughs> for oil because a lot of brownie recipes call for oil so in any brownie recipes if you would rather use applesauce please by all means and we're using organic unsweetened applesauce yes so there's not that added sugar and all that mm -mm -mm. nasty stuff <laughs> then half of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder will you do the honors I shall when in doubt dump it out <laughs> oh jeez then we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking soda and a pinch of salt, which we have in this cute little bowl. <laughs> Ooh, it's so rubbery and <laughs> mobile. <laughs> and last but not least, technically not last but not least because we are going to use chocolate chips, but last but not least for the blender, one cup of gluten-free flour. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so not what do you think about this? I <laughs> have an idea. Good. Ooh. Babe, the flour. So, <laughs> this recipe obviously goes to the tip top of your Nutribullet. <laughs> You're welcome to use a regular size blender <laughs> so you don't run into these problems. But it does look pretty. It does. It Again, it? one day we'll remember that the name of that sand. And now, we blend. Woo! You don't want to blend for too long because you don't want to overmix it. Otherwise, the batter will get a little funky. Look how pretty. So pretty. Alright, so now we're going to preheat the oven to 350 while Monette pulls. <laughs> Maybe. This is why we're out me. <laughs> These muscles. While the oven's preheating, we are gonna line this pan with foil. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite little tricks to do that makes it really easy. So you're gonna grab enough foil to cover the entire pan. Actually, maybe like an inch extra on both sides. She's a genius! <laughs> Smartest woman I know. Flip the pan over. Step one. Step two. 
cover the pan. <laughs> and then you're just going to give it a nice little hug with the foil so it looks like that. Flip this over, flip the pan over, stick this in. Voila! Simple as that. So easy. And it makes it so much easier so you're not poking holes in the foil and everything. So I say we spray this with a little nonstick cooking spray. <laughs> and now we pour. Ooh, now we pour. Jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. And we are using a 9 by 11 inch pan. You really can use any size pan you'd like, like an 8 by 8, although the smaller the pan, the longer the cooking time. Splash it Thank you. Stat. Get it all out. You know what it smells like? Chocolate! <laughs> so much chocolate! <laughs> now, last but not least at all by any means whatsoever. Never means whatsoever. <laughs> vegan carob chips. Mm. The best part. Definitely don't put these in the blender because it'll lose the crunch and the crunch is the best part. It really is. Once you blend it, then they become um, a lot finer and yeah. you don't get that actual chunky crunch. That chunk. chick. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just gonna sprinkle them on. You can put as many as you want. So you don't have to use vegan carob chips. They have regular unsweetened carob chips or just regular chocolate chips, whatever you prefer. So yummy. Very important tip. We're using a metal pan, so the time that you bake it is gonna be way less than it would be if you were using a glass pan. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna bake these because of the metal, for about 18 minutes in the in the oven. Yeah, and also depending on your oven, it might be more, might be less. Yeah. Just test it with a toothpick, and if it comes out clean, you're good to go. Let's do it. It's oven time. <laughs> Important step, let it cool. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to go to taste it down. 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 Taste it and they're not too chocolatey either. Stop. Cheers. Mmm. They're too good. I can't say anything. I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Make sure you come back next week. We have a very special guest. A specialist. You do not want to miss it. It's exciting. <laughs> we'll see you next week in the kitchen! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>